Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Data Tech. I'm your host Anand Kumar. In this video, we'll, we will be exploring the essential AWS services for data engineers. AWS has an extensive array of services. So this video will help you to focus on those services which are particularly important for data engineers and also provide high level overview of those services. So let's start. Here, the image which we are showing on the uh, screen, we, here we are using a classic example of a data pipeline which involves the integration of various sources from both on-prem and cloud into the data lake. And then implementing some business logic or business rules to enable analytics teams to perform self-serve analytics with BI reports or dashboard or interactive SQL. One thing we need to keep in mind, it is essential to remember that the data type patterns which are not one size fit solution. They can be different based on the use case and requirement. The example which we are seeing on the screen, it is one of them, but it is not necessarily that it fits in everybody's uh, use case. So this is like a, a classic use case, but there with cloud you will find for each data pipeline, the services involved probably like, it, it remain the same services, but the flow won't be the same. Okay, so to, to achieve uh, like to achieve this, we first need to ingest data, which we can see here in the ingestion services. So as I mentioned, we are using data from on-prem or some data from AWS services. So to ingest it, like first we need to ingest that data into our data lake. And there are two ways to do this, batch data ingestion or real-time ingestion. So depending on the requirement of analytics teams, we can select either of them, either uh, like either batch or real time. So batch data integrations work for scenarios where we wanna create like, a, I'll say data warehousing, large scale data processing, or like a batch or like dashboarding and BI kind of use cases. Where real time, Ingestion is more for uh, like a fraud detection, recommendation systems, real-time dashboard, uh, dashboarding kind of use cases. So if uh, for batch ingestion, if we are pulling the data or migrating the data from on-prem, we can use data migration services. Once the data is in cloud or the source, for example, the source is in cloud, then we can use AWS Lambda, Glue, or EMR to process that data to put it into data lake. Here, Lambda is uh, serverless computing that allow data engineers to run code without managing or provisioning the infrastructure. It is often used to build serverless ETL pipeline or data processing task, which triggered by events from other services. And if we talk about Glue, Glue is a fully managed ETL that automate the process of preparing and transforming the data. And it also offer data cataloging feature. EMR, EMR is a managed big data processing service, which allow data engineers to run distributed data processing framework like Spark or even Hadoop on a scalable clusters. So in a nutshell, like all three basically used to process the data and depending on uh, like EMR, we, we can use in the use in those cases where our data, like the processing is, uh, is bigger or I'll say like it is against the bigger data sets, then we can use EMR. Lambda is like a, it's 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 uh, handy in those use cases where we can uh, process the data within like fifteen minutes, like for the small task. And glue is like where uh, 
you want to create a data pipeline from let's say one of the for example the data is coming from rds and we want to put it into the s3 those kind of situations where we can use glue and for real time um, we can um, i mentioned it's like as a kinesis family like that's not the word but by i'll say kinesis because all these services are related to kinesis one is the kinesis uh, uh, data stream kinesis data analytics and uh, kinesis firehouse so basically we can use this whole kinesis family to process and even analyze the real-time data streams. And after that, uh, if you wanna create dashboards and all, then we can put it into S3 and go like this direction. But uh, generally, we can process the data within the Kinesis family itself. And now, once we store the ingested data into S3, which is our data lake, it's the what is s3 s3 is basically the fundamental storage service which allow us to store and retrieve data of any size here we store the raw data uh, and then we can process this raw data using same lambda glue emr using some business rules uh, like we can say like based on some business rules we can process that data and store it back either in the other bracket so we can think like s3 can have a multiple layers of the data like a raw data then process data aggregated data that kind of things which can be taken as like um, like a brown silver and gold uh, data layers but you can call it like raw processed aggregated too so we can store it back into the data lake or we can store it into the redshift too and what is Redshift? Redshift is a fully managed data warehousing services. And data engineers use Redshift to run complex queries on large data cells and build business intelligence on it. And you can see here, we are using AWS Glue Crawler to populate the catalog. So Crawler runs on Amazon S3 and populate the data catalog. The Crawler and Catalog both are part of the AWS Glue. And this catalog, once like AWS Crawler runs and populate the catalog, and this catalog act as a central repository for, for many services in AWS account. In this case, it's uh, a central repository for like for on top of S3, but it can act as a, uh, a data catalog central repository for many, many services. And finally, if you look at the business intelligence layer, so finally, Quick Insight is used to provide self-serve analytics to the business users. So basically, it's a dashboarding where business users can see the uh, sorry, it's a data visualization tool where business users can see the dashboards or BI reports. Here, all in the business intelligence layer, we see Athena. So Athena is basically uh, like an interactive uh, query service that allow business users to analyze data directly uh, using standard SQL queries without loading the data or ETL. You can think it as a uh, like a SQL client where uh, users can run the ad hoc queries or if they want to do some exploratory analysis and those kind of things. And there are some other services, if you look at the bottom, there are some other services which are common um, and data engineers should be aware about them. So for example, I am. So I am is used to set up policies, is used to set up access policies for various services, CloudWatch, which is used to monitor and look for the logs, and then step functions is, can be used for orchestration. And it is also good to have some basic understandings of VPC, that is always helpful. Uh, that's all. So I hope this video will give you a good idea which services are relevant to the data engineers. That's all for this video. Thank you.